In this episode, I'll give an update on my D-Crops play, I'll open five beta packs, and I'll update my farm a little bit. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey everyone, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Well, uh, this is going to be a Decrops update. Uh, I've been playing since the crossover event uh, with Splinterlands a few weeks ago. Um, so I just want to provide an update um, as well as open some packs. Okay, so this last week, if uh, weekend, if you joined me, we had a big event where we gave uh, a lot of stuff away. Um, it was fun. We celebrated me going over 500 subscribers on my channel. Everything was great. Now, flashback to uh, Script Kitty uh, from Decrops had donated 10 beta packs. Um, and he said, go ahead and give five away and open five online. Well, the giveaways and everything was going so fast and furious on that day. We went a two solid hours that I forgot to, I did give away the five packs, but I forgot to open the other five. So I wanted to go ahead and accomplish that today. And it was perfect timing because I harvested one of my crops. Let's go ahead and go to play. Um, if you go to my farm, you'll see I have one spot open here. So I harvested one of my crops um, and I've got an open slot. So I was going to go buy another seed or use one of the other seeds, uh, one of the miscellaneous seeds you can use. Um, they are called mystery seeds. Whenever I bought my olive trees, uh, each of the items came with a certain amount of mystery seeds. And what they boil down to is their one-time use, one-use seeds, and it's random. Whatever you come up with is what you come up with. Well, I planted a mystery seed, um, and you can see that nine days and 16 hours are left on um, spring, on the, the current uh, um, season, if you will. Um, and it came up and it was too long uh it was too long because you have to fit the seed length how long it's going to take the mature inside that time frame now there's some some modifiers you can put on that but i didn't use a modifier um so i had to remove it so uh, i went in and i was going to go ahead and buy a seed on the market you can go into the market and then you can uh sort by i'm sorting my spring here and then we can sort by seed um, because you have to uh, grow the proper seeds in the proper season. And I was looking at these, and I'm like, well, hey, I've got four pa or five packs sitting there. Why don't I go on and do a video and open the packs? Hopefully, I'll get something. If I don't, then we can go ahead and get something here. But what I will say is that I want to go ahead and buy a um, another piece of land. Um, so I have a few extra spots available. Let's go ahead and do this I'm still getting used to how this sorting works so I've been going with the fertile lands which are rares and they provide two slots uh, to plant um, food crops um, and you know um, they're they're about double as good as a common right um, when you jump up to epic it's it's increasingly a lot more expensive of course on an epic you get three slots and on a legendary you get four but you can see the prices are way up there. Now, these, poor, uh, these pieces of land here uh, were in the alpha expansion. Now, if you jump on here, you might be confused between what is the difference between a land and a plot. Well, you can break these lands up into like rare, since there's two plots, um, I can break it into two plots. And then each of the plots could be used for something. Um, but once you break it up, it's not going to go back together again. It's basically like burning an NFT. Once you separate them, and there's some different rules. I'm not 100% sure about what you could exactly, like some of the higher end ones, like a high tech plot, you can use to plant a tree on. Um, and the plots are cheaper, but don't mistake a plot with being the same thing as a piece of land. So either way, I've just been going with rares because to me it seemed like a pretty decent uh, way to kind of get in for a, a newcomer. 
um, that wasn't going to throw in tons and tons of money. I've just been taking this slowly. Now, I will note that the price of these lands has been going up because whenever I first started buying these, these rare plots, the first rare plots I bought during that event, during that olive tree event, were like uh, four hive. Now they're up to seven. So I want to buy one more. Um, and I do have enough hive to go ahead and buy that. So we'll go ahead and buy one, uh, one rare plot. Okay, and then we will go back to play, look at my farm, and we'll see I've got the, the new plot here, so or the new farmland here. So I have three slots. So what I want to do is go ahead and go to open those packs, and you can see that I have a balance of five beta packs here. So let's go ahead and open them. And I'm just going to open all five at the same time and submit. Now on this slider, there's a slider there. If you go to open a pack, you have to slide it over to the right a uh, certain amount, how many ever you want to open. I got caught up on that the first time. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we got. We got a common, we got a common, we got a rare, rare, common, oh, epic, common, common, rare, common, common, oh, a legendary. I love it when I see a legendary. Common, common, and rare. Okay, so let's just go ahead and open them up and see what we've got. That's a common. Dill. It's a common. Uh, rice, plain rice. That's a rare. Uh, spicy and sour nachos. Those are recipes. Cucumber is a rare. Cilantro is a common. Leek is an epic. Bread is a common. Basil is a common. And in this, in this game, it, it helps to have multiple copies of each seed, especially the commons and rares, because when you start doing quests, you're going to need uh, multiple copies of those. So we've got kidney beans, which is a rare. Rosemary, which is a common. Oregano, common. And the legendary, oh baby, nice. Apple seed. I've been wanting an apple tree. Um... So I will have to buy a plot of land to plant that on, and then that will take 15 days to mature. But once it does mature, um, it will be available like the olive trees, like um, any of the trees you can plant. Uh, you have to have a seed. You have to have the uh, correct uh, legendary plot of land. Um, and then it takes 15 days to mature. Once you do, that tree's good. Okay, so you don't have to replant it. And every day during its particular season, um, it yields and you can harvest every night or, or whenever, once a day um, during that season. So that's what um, is, is a good thing. So detox smoothie, another recipe, cilantro, common, and another spicy and sour nachos. So I haven't gotten to the part where... Um, I haven't been making any recipes yet. I've just been basically... Um, farming things, harvesting things. So let's go ahead and go back to play and then go to my farm and let's see what we can plant here. Uh, let's see here. This takes, I've got a dill and I've got a rosemary. And by glossing over here, I cannot see. Okay. So it says the required time is two days and the time required is one day. So let's go ahead and plant this and let's go ahead and plant this. Get those planted. That was a pretty good draw to have two different plants uh, from the proper season that I needed. And then we will go into the market and see if we can pick something else up. I have a little bit of spare hive. So let's look at the market. And once again, well, once it comes up, sort by when you're going to sort uh, it took me a minute to figure out this sorting you basically select everything you don't want and you leave the one thing that you do want uh, active um, it's kind of to me it's like reverse of what you usually do in most sorting but um, you get used to it um, and then over here since i want to look at seeds i select everything else so nothing else is highlighted except for the seed and we see we have broccoli, kale, cauliflower, potato, and strawberry. 
I don't have enough. Um, I can get any of these. I don't have enough time to grow a cauliflower because I have less than nine days. So I could go with kale or I could go with broccoli. And they're almost the same price, but broccoli's a little bit cheaper. So let's go with a broccoli and grab that. Okay, now let's go back to play in my farm and plant the broccoli. When you plant something, you can, if, if you have multiple spaces open, you can populate each of the spaces first, get everything set up, and then you have to click the button at the bottom to say plant selected. And that also is for harvesting. If you have multiple things that are ready for harvest, you can click on them all and then harvest them at the bottom. Okay, so now um, you'll see I have two broccolis planted, a cauliflower, um, some lavender, I forget what that was, chamomile, and some kale here. So now I have four rare farmlands and I have everything planted out. Earlier today, I harvested my olive trees. I have been, for lack of a better plan, uh, let's go ahead and sell this two broccolis. Now here's another thing, let's cancel here. There's two different ways you can sell food items um, on this game. The first way you can do is you can sell for shares. That sells to the game um, and you get a certain amount of shares and you build up your shares and at the end of the season, the higher amount of shares you have, the more you get for season end rewards, okay? Or you can just list on the market and list it for how much ever you wanna sell it for and people will buy it off of you um, to make recipes out of. Now. Theoretically, and everybody who has played the game for longer than I have says it's better to take your items like your olives, your leeks, your peas, and cook something out of them, and then you make more out of that. But I'm just a beginner, um, so I'm starting out, and my strategy has just been sell one star items like these broccolis I have and keep my two and three stars. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to attempt to sell the two and three star items outside of their usual season. So my thinking is, and if you've played this for a while, go ahead and leave in the comments. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. My, my thinking is that if you try to sell items to other people for cooking while it's in the right season, there'll be a lot more of them available. So the price will be lower. So my idea is keep them for when they are out of season and try to sell the better, the two and three star items um, out of season. Anyway, that's the approach I'm getting. Now, I wanna look at those seeds I have. Let's see here. Okay, so where are my seeds? Okay, so I came over to the card tab and you can see these are basically all the cards I have. Um, and we scroll down and those are the olive trees. Here's the apple tree seed. Okay. So I need a legendary plot of land to plant this on. Um, so, and, um, I believe that the apple tree is, it's a winter plant. So we're past winter, but as long as I can get that up and growing and be ready for the next winter cycle, when it comes around, I'll be happy. Um, but what does that entail? That's the question. So what I need is a legendary plot and let's go to the market and look at the market. Now this is one of those situations where I don't have to buy the land. I can buy a high tech plot or a Trinity plot. These are both legendary lands, land plots, and they are both a hundred hive. So I think last time I checked earlier, Hive was about 32 cents. So what this represents is about $32, okay? But that's an apple tree that you can uh, harvest 
during the winter season every single day. Okay. And you can turn around, you can sell those apples, uh, like I was talking earlier, either to people with cook with or to the game for shares. So, um, and it turns out you can also buy the trees already grown. Uh, obviously, they do cost a little bit more. So, if I wanted to just buy a fully grown apple tree, that's 179 hive. But since I have the seed already, I might as well just get a high tech plot. But that's not in my um, budget for right now, but I do plan to have that up and running before the next winter season hits. Either way, uh, I'm having fun with the game. It's a nice, it doesn't take a whole long time every day. Uh, you do have to check back once in a while and keep an eye on um, how your crops are going. Um, you do have to keep in mind that you want to grow them so that their timing fits in within the season ending. You know, they have to be able to be harvested before the season ends. If not, you'll lose them. Okay. Now they do have a couple items um, called boosters that you can use um, to help with growing. Okay. So, um, well, uh, they have one, the Speed Grow. Uh, it's fertilizer, basically. You have to use it when you're planting, though. You can't wait, plant it, and use this later, okay? This reduces the time required for a seed to mature by 10 to 50% on a specific plot of land. So you can use that at time of planting. Now, the second booster is the Ferta Plus. Doubles the chance to get a three and two star crop upon harvest. Must be used before harvesting to take effect. So you could get this and you could boost um, your um, possibility of getting two or three star crops. Okay, well. Okay, so this has been a straightforward one. Uh, first of all, thanks Script Giddy uh, for the packs. We did a great giveaway. Um, talked a little bit about uh, D crops, and um, so I thought I'd jump on here and do the pack opening. Um, everything's going pretty good. So uh, if you want to start playing D crops, please use my referral link in the show notes. Um, helps me out a little bit. Otherwise, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I will see you on the flip side. Thank you.